Beauties, welcome back to VLB Halloween. We're going to be doing this gothic dark fairy look today in honor of All Hallows Eve. Happy Halloween, guys. If you love dark fantasy looks like me, I'm so obsessed with them. Be sure you like this video and smash that subscribe button for more, because there will be more creative looks coming your way. I can promise you that. Now grab some candy and let's jump into this look. Alright, so to start this look out, you're going to want to prime your skin, as always. With every look, you always need to prime to really protect your skin from any paint getting into your pores or causing any breakouts. So we're going to be gluing back our brows now. I'm using the Disappearing Purple glue stick from Elmer's, and this is a washable glue stick, so it's going to be safe to use on your brows. I'm just locking the brows away now using some concealer. And then going right into face paint, we're going to be using a white cream paint today. And what I love so much about this paint is that it's nice and creamy and light, so it gives the appearance of just naturally pale skin. To make it a little bit more natural, I did add in some foundation and then locked away those brows using a white face powder. So to start off the eye look, we're going to be using a black eyeshadow, and we're going to go pretty light with this at first. We're actually going to create a ring around the whole eye, so it's going to be really circular and very smoky. So the base of the ring is going to be pretty dark, very, very black, and then as you go out, it'll fade into a lighter shade into the skin. I'm using a silver eyeshadow on the outer portion of the eye and also on the lid, and then using my foundation brush to just blend those outer corners together. I'm going in with a black eyeliner now to smoke out the look, and I'm just using this on the waterline and the lower and upper lash line, and going over that with a black shadow. So now we're going to really deepen it by adding in that black shadow in the brow bone area and then also underneath the eyes. So we're going to start haloing this out in a little bit. Moving on to contour, I just wanted to see how this would look at first. I wasn't going to put pink, but I actually absolutely loved it. So I started to add in pink on the cheekbones, and then I shaded in a lavender highlight right above that fading into the eyes. I wanted it all to really connect so it just looked like splashes of black and pink and lavender kind of going outwards on the face. Here I'm just rounding out the eyes. I wanted them to be very, very round and I'm gonna go ahead and start to halo this out even more. I wanted to really deepen it up and make the eye almost look wet so I added in a silver eyeshadow right on the center of the eye only going up into the brow. So now I'm adding in some more black shadow. A lot of this look is just going back and forth with black and silver and deepening where you see fit. And this will really make your eyes almost look wet if you add the silver right into the center of the lid. I'm taking some more of that lavender highlight and just blending. And now we're going to move on to glitter. So I did apply silver chunky glitter first and then I went over with black. And what I love so much about this glitter is it actually kind of looks like ashes or dirt or something really, really different. It's not like your typical glitter look. And here I'm just applying some silver eyeshadow in the inner corner of the eye using my finger because this actually gives a realistic wet look like you're crying almost by using your finger and not a brush. So here I'm just deepening up that black again. You really want to apply this a lot in the inner and outer portion of the eye. And this is also going to make your eye look a lot bigger than what it really is by haloing it out. I think a halo eye shape as far as eyeshadow goes is my favorite to do for any, any look. I just love it. And I'm just adding in more black shadow underneath the eye and just winging it up. You can go back in with a fluffy brush and start to blend the inner portion of these circles out to really soften them up so they blend into your skin really nicely. Moving on to lashes, I popped on some feather ones and I just like to stick them on by pressing my fingers together and this really clamps them onto my natural lashes and it blends them together so they sit really tightly and don't move around. I did cut up some cardstock and put some under my lashes and these are just really long paper lashes. Now for contour, I'm just going to go in with some black and start to shade out those cheeks. And you can see I'm really sandwiching this brush together so I can get a really good blend going. And then just repeating those steps on the other cheek. I also started to really drag that down so it gives a very thin shape to the face. This is something I like to do with most of my looks. And here I'm adding in more black shadow. I wanted to show you guys every step that I'm taking just so you can see how much you need to apply if you're going to replicate this look. I'm next going to go in and apply some liquid lipstick and I'm using a black because we're going to be putting a gloss over it. Liquid lipstick is great if you want to put gloss over that way it will stay all night and won't move. So this is just a regular black liquid lipstick and gloss will come later. Moving on to the body, I am going to be using a white cream paint, the same one I used on my face initially. 
and I'm going to be using this all over my body and this is going to give me the appearance of really pale skin. What I love about this cream paint, like I said before, is it actually looks like your skin is naturally this vampire pale color, which I think is really cool for costume and theatrical looks. I'm just blending this pretty much all over the areas that are going to be showing in my dress. I started to highlight my collarbones and just around the chest area that would be showing with that lavender highlight and you can see here it gives a nice kind of wet shine to the body. And next I'm going to be going in with that same contour shade that is on my cheeks, that pinkish purple color, and I'm going to use this just haloing out the body all around and shading where I see my collarbones. And I'm just blending in that highlighter as I go. And as a final step, I like to lock in the look by applying a white face powder to all of the light areas. This is just going to emphasize everything and really lock it in for the night. I'm going to be using this awesome, awesome product. And this is like really great for lips and eyes. This is for Milk Makeup. And I'm going to be applying it on the lips and the eyes. This is a gloss. You can actually use it on your eyes or lips. And that's what I did here. I'm just applying it to both. And then I'm kind of blending it into the skin so it gives a nice wet look. You can use clear, but I thought black was really, really cool and very gothic for this look. And I've really been dying to use this product, so I thought this was perfect for this look. And now I'm just highlighting around the nose and the center of the nose and then also on my cupid's bow, being sure to not touch the gloss because it is black and it will get messy if you do touch it. So next I'm going to go in and slick the hair back. I wanted to do something really elegant so I did a slick back bun. You guys can see how I do it here. I just spray my hair first. I put my hair up in a bun starting with a ponytail. I twist the ponytail tail and then just wrap it around and I secure it in with some bobby pins. I use really heavy duty bobby pins that I will link below that really pin the hair back and keep it nice and tight all night long. I have really thick hair so I need lots and lots of bobby pins when I put it up. And now I'm going to go ahead and spray that again with my favorite hairspray. <laughs> Smells like grapes kind of. And now for our headpiece. So this headpiece was plain when I bought it. I glittered it up myself with some black glitter I have. And I felt like it added such a beautiful shine to it. And you can see here I'm checking myself out. I'm in love with this headpiece. It's gorgeous. And here I'm just going in with a white face powder to make sure that my ears match my face and my body. And this is when you can do your finishing touches. I'm adding in some more black contour and just blending that out using the same brush I used for that pink shade on the cheeks. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my choker on. My mom made an appearance again. I know you guys love it when she pops up in my videos, so I had to include that clip. And now I'm putting on some gloves. I feel like these really make the look very Halloween. And if you're going to a Halloween ball, I feel like this look is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some Mayron Paradise paint to my fingertips. And this is going to dry matte black. All right, beauties, this is my final look for VLB Halloween 2017. I hope you guys love this dark fairy, and if you did, be sure you like this video, subscribe for more looks that you will see throughout the year. They are definitely, definitely coming. And I will see you all in my next tutorial. Only 365 more days till VLB Halloween 2018. Happy Halloween.